Hello everyone, Crystal Fisher here, and today I am here to show you how to install Spyro Edit. Now it's very, very simple. The first thing you want to do is copy these two files here. Now I've provided both of them, the links are in the description. You want to drag them to the plugins folder of EPSXE. Now I'm using 2.0.5. He recommends that you use at 1.6. Now it works on this one fine, but you may as well go by him. But if you trust me, then it will work. Then you want to open up EPSXE. You'll see here that we have the plugins. You click video, then you select Spyro Edit 2.0. Here are my settings. This is this will definitely work if you use these exact settings. So please try it and you'll get some good quality textures out of it. Everything will look great. Then you want to run the ISO and you want to use Spyro 2 PAL version. PAL versions are recommended. They do work with other versions, but PAL is the one that LX Shadow recommends. Uh, you know, he's British, so he, I guess he just worked on PAL. And then here we have Spyro Edit right here. This is this is it. This is this is everything that uh, you can do. There's all these different features. I won't show them off now. This is not really the type of video. Instead, I'm showing you how things will uh, that you know that things will work more so. Um, there's all sorts of different things we can do. We can change the light, you know, we can, we can make the head bash thing that there you go. We've already changed the mood of the level instantly. Look at that. Brilliant. I love it. I, I just love like, I just love experimenting with this plugin. Let's show off just a few little cool features. The freaking head bash apocalypse. My God, look at this. Look at this just complete and utter carnage. I am in love with this. I'm going to make a full video dedicated just to showing off this, this, uh, amazing tool amazing just it just blows my mind then we got this thing sanic jumps this is absolutely hilarious it completely is like impossible to glide like see see how it just fucks up it, it's absolutely brilliant and stupid but in the best way possible irreparable giraffe keyword irreparable once we've gone to the giraffe mode we can never go back and then we have look at stuff which will like look at close objects and stuff i mean there's just so many random stuff i'm not really even showing off the real detailed stuff like the texture hacks and stuff but you will see that don't worry guys in time very soon you'll see some awesome stuff and then tornado which is an old feature actually i believe this was an old feature anyway guys oh and irreparable beats so we can actually dance to this uh beta version of the production line which is an old track i made it's like a slower version anyway um i hope you guys enjoyed this video I definitely enjoyed making it and I hope you guys can now use Spyro Edit for yourself. See you guys.